We all know those games. You know those simulator games? That's entirely you clicking the screen for 10 hours straight. Or doing the same 4 second task. Just for like 10 months. And you know. those The problem with some of those games. Uh, are whenever you try to play them. You know, you know, you kill, like, something, or, like, you lift something, and it, like, takes, like, ten seconds to do, kind of long, and it's, like, you see only one of it. And then, like, the first egg, the cheapest egg in the whole game ha is, like, has, like, ten thousand of those things you need to get. So, let's just use whites, for example. So, now you have to spend, f like, four thousand years of your life trying to get those um, whites, and then boom, you get, you get, get the egg, you hatch it, like, all the common pets are, like, extremely common, like, the rare pets are, like, 30%, the other pets are, like, 40%, 50%, you know, it's crazy, and then there's, like, super rare pets, like, 0.01% chance, and then you proceed to get, like, one of the worst pets, and their multiplier is 0.01 times, the amount of anger some of you feel from that, I relate. I've gotten an egg that's super expensive and I spend a while trying to get it. All of a sudden, it's the worst thing I've ever bought my whole life. And it has that super low chance. It's like, no, that, and even like the best pet in the egg is like 1.1 times multiplier of whatever you're getting. It is so annoying. And now, let's go on to, like, those tycoon games, you know, like, the, you know how tycoons used to be, like, no, like, tycoons aren't even a problem now. Let's go on to a different type of game. Those games, you know, like, wall punching simulator, you know, like, where you punch a wall, you could punch, like, a punching bag and get more strength. It's the exact same game all over, except in a different thing. There's even a skibbity toilet one. I feel like the bots, like, constantly upload them. Because there's no way an actual human, actually an actual human might have come up with that idea until a bot saw it was successful, and then boom, 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 producing all these games, you know, like 40 years constantly playing, and they never chat, never nothing, never nothing. And then pretty much, all you have, you, you could probably go on Roblox right now, searching games, and like scroll down, like, just like, after like 10 seconds, you'll probably find like five of these games where you go in and you like punch or kill something and you get more and more and then it's just like it's an it's too it's too repetitive and now we're going on to those cafe games you know they're the most strictest ruled games on the entire planet you know if you had a super strict parent and you were going to play one of these games in the future that was just simply training for those games you could uh, accidentally uh, mess up your grammar slightly and you get like the worst warning ever and you get risking of demotion as a cashier, alright? And then they like think moving's gonna work against strollers and that like wastes even more time. They, uh, those type of games also usually a lot of them sell ranks and those ranks are the most expensive things in your life. And the reason why they say no refunds is so they can get away with taking more people's money if you accidentally have two grammar mistakes. And then all of a sudden, boom, you like, there's like some super rich person buying the thing, like owner admin, that's like 100,000 Robux for that. And basically nobody can ban you because you're like owner, Little Stripe gives you owner. And you basically destroy the game until the owner himself actually does do something about it. And then they get away with taking all, all that money. It's, 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 it's crazy. Alright, it's crazy. These games, come on. They're, they're kind of crazy. I don't know how sitting there all day, not even getting Robux for it. Saying, copying, pasting a message and saying, Hello, salutations. My name is Cute single extra, and today we want to know what 30 menu items that we cannot even pronounce. Are you gonna get which one are you gonna get? 
the one we are so conveniently out of stock because always these drinks are impossible to make. You could have the pumpkin spice, extra pumped whipped cream, extra salt, sugar, cup, or you could just have a regular coffee. But, you know, we kind of just don't get paid at all, and we sit here for 10 hours copying and pasting the exact same message that has words longer than the entire plant's orbiting system, the entire solar system, and words that nobody can pronounce, nobody actually understands or uses in the real word world, and they say it's fun as in role-playing, fun, yay. Copying, pasting, and standing in the same area seems super fun. Alright. It happened in Please Donate, and I think that I got it, that it's inspiration from Cafe Games. Like, what? What? is so great about it, I don't understand. And then the admins there just, the only for, sort of fun that they get is just yelling at other um, people. For breaking the slightest of rules. Like, you could just stand in someone's avatar. It doesn't even have to be a game rule. And you would still get banned for standing in someone's avatar. If that's so bad, put collision on. Or make it so people can't jump on each other's head if there's collision or something. That's just... How do you not handle that? I don't know why these games got so weird all of a sudden. Like, you, staying in people's avatars never used to be a bad thing, alright? It never used to be. Until all of a sudden, someone got offended over it. And then, boom, now it's like, it doesn't even have to be in the ruling game. It's like common sense now. It's not. Standing in a virtual pixel avatar makes no sense. Why? Why? We are not touching you at all in real life. We aren't even... That isn't even this a concept that should happen in your brain. That's like, oh, you touch my virtual avatar. I'm offended. Okay, what happened? What what made that a what, what? How how do you even get banned for standing in someone's avatar? You know, it happens, and it doesn't even have to be in the rules. First of all. Not even in the rules. That's that, that's the problem. It doesn't. It's not even a rule in the game, and it's like, like, not allowed. All right. That's like my rant against like three type of genres and games. I don't know, and uh, I I I probably find it myself pretty relatable.